Hello everybody and welcome back to Getting Wrecked and Spin Tires Mud Runner. Now we are quite good at running in the mud, also getting stuck, but we managed to make it all the way here to this first watchtower. However, we are running out of fuel, so what I want to do is find that watch point. Something like that. And this looks pretty nasty, so we might get stuck. But the plan for today is to find that watch point, go and refuel at our garage, and then uh, we will find that watch point and the last one as well. So we know where to go with our more heavy vehicles. I wonder if we can uh, do some winch in that thing. I guess it will just fall over have to choose if you want to go close to trees for... yeah I guess so. We can use our winch because I don't believe this... traction here. Oh look, we can actually almost drive here. Cool. And the lights on. Come on guys. Eee, I'm sticking close to trees. Now we need to get over. Other side. It was actually not that bad, or was it? Some rocks. Oops, took some damage. Fine. Should almost be able to see it from over here. Time for me to show my driving skills. Oh yeah. I mean, I have every single driving license there is. I haven't almost. I don't, I don't have a, not allowed to fly. Hmm, this is actually a road. We could try to follow the road or we could go as the crow flies. Uh, but I actually have a truck driving license, motorcycle license. Dangerous water levels. Let's keep our exhausts over the water. And I drove all terrain vehicles in the military service. Look at that. And it's too easy. Mm, yeah, let's go and grab some fuel. Of you. Sure. Could scout the lumber mill, I guess, but might want to do that when it's daytime. Let's try without the diff lock. We are driving on the road, so I mean, we can't unlock differential now, and can we? Actually, the fuel is kind of the same, with or without. Oh, is this water? to go through the forest instead. Might take some damage, but at least it should be dry.
Uh oh, we're almost down into the water again. Right. Now what? Do you want to go to that side? Mm, yeah, I think so. We, I mean, we have trees here. We can winch ourselves. Red the needle. Go, 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 go. Easy. There we go. Bonk. Someone put a stone in the way. A rock. Plonk. I didn't really see that drop. Don't tip over, please. I like these trees that are, you can drive over sometimes. That wasn't in uh, spin tires from what I remember. What the heck? It's because I said I like these trees. I drive right straight into one. Giving uh, the boys back at the garage something to do. Come on. I don't know how much this extra trunk us if it if it slows us down a lot or if it's kind of the same as driving driving without oh, holy crap that's super far don't do we need that last node but okay I thought we had that uh, garage coming up around the next bend but uh, nope not quite Button. Go, go. Hmm. Let's try to drive through this water. No problem. I've never been into the wilds like this though. Well, I guess I was when I was in the military service, but not really the same thing. Because in the military service it was always not something you wanted, you was just forced to do it. At least in Sweden, since we had. Oh, we actually have it still. Conscription. Well, not conscription, maybe, but. What's it called? Oh, it's conscription, I think. Yeah, conscription. So, uh, everyone was forced to do military service? Well, every man had to do military service. I think it's uh, not mandatory any longer though. Let's see if we can get this thing fueled up. Nice. Something we want to do while we're here? really and it's so freaking far though so freaking far 
Hmm. Oh well. Let's get going. Um, I think this is where we uh, took a shortcut. Maybe not a shortcut, but it would row something like that. Actually, um, skip to daytime. Can you get this thing that fueled, please? Nope. Yeah, it's still really, really foggy. Oh, did he re just remove? All my waypoints, maybe I removed them myself, I don't actually know. Not that answer though. Just follow the road. You might want to change the vehicle soon though. At the same time, this is the only time we will be using the scout car. We will get stuck in the trucks themselves later on, so not too bummed about it. Chunk, chunk. And yeah, we drove through the water here. I remember that. I remember that much. I don't know. That's a freaking uh, mountain. I don't really know how you will be able to see if you. And cross section of water or not. I could have used a couple of more vertices on that mountain though. I think it's out of uh, the map, outside the map. Kind of, but still. Looks like garbage. I could have done a better one myself in 10 minutes, so... At that point, I think you are allowed to actually complain about stuff. And I guess I complained about the evergreens, which I will not be able to do better. But if you compare the evergreens with these I don't know what they're called in English. Birch? 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 And the mushrooms? I don't think that's a mushroom, but... If I don't know tree names in English, I don't know <laughs> freaking... Shrooms names either. Are we getting close to that water section now? 42 damage! What the heck? Get out of here. Alright. Yeah, do you want to go... I think we want to go this... way again, just in case. See. I would prefer more trees in winds too, but oh yeah, remember these cliffs because I drew <laughs> drove straight into one of these. I think it was this one. Come on, 
Come on, car, you can do it. It's man versus nature. Seems like nature is winning. Alright, fine. I get you next time. So, how do we do this? I think we go like this. Never good to drive straight down into a ditch. It always. Try to head. Use. Come on. You would also always want to hit it at an angle, I think. Because otherwise, you might end up with your nose straight down into the ditch and then you're definitely stuck. When we were uh, using all-terrain vehicles in the military service, we always had uh, a couple of them. I think we used the strongest one in front. Uh, so. to kind of make way for the rest um, but I don't know if that's the way you usually do it it's like well I guess it will be easier for the next one to go through But heading through water and stuff, it's like the best vehicle might have an e Hello, we're heading. Might have an easy time. Oh, this is where we almost drowned last time. Let's skid across the corner. But the thing is, if a weaker vehicle got stuck behind the stronger one, you can always winch to that. Car, so also one thing that I thought was pretty interesting but also very scary was the fact that you were always required to have your helmet on when you were winching like you were not allowed to winch without your helmet and that makes you pretty scared that so the reason was they at least they said that the winch could snap so that's why you should have your helmet damage there but oops I just started to think about well I might have my helmet but that doesn't cover my face so this heading out into the unknown oops uh, so that it doesn't feel good to have a helmet on when winching <laughs> like you have to have your helmet on I mean, sure, if you're a construction worker and you're required to have your helmet on, at least there you think that, well, okay, if I uh, get hit by something on the construction site, it will almost definitely come from above. It's not that common that someone goes around and punches you in the face or throw nails at you, you would like to get something from about, right? But when you're winching, you're using trees and stuff in front of you. If that thing's break, that thing's breaking, right where, 
pretty well not hit you on top of your head. It might hit you like everywhere else. Um, fuel station. That's interesting. We could have refueled here, I guess, instead of going back to base. Um, right. How the heck? I haven't found a single vehicle inside these watch point. We can't find anything there. Hmm. Don't know if let's show with the mouse instead. If you should go on the right hand side here. This road ends there. Look at the trees. Um moving. Could go back here, drive around like this. I think that's a sensible thing. We also try to. I want to take a look at the garage, I guess. We could go down here. We could drive on this thing and hope that this road works or this. I don't like the stones here. Anyways, uh, we'll go and take a look up here. Oh, it's actually not that foggy now. Well, I guess it's a little bit foggy. I wonder if I can uh, upgrade the graphics. This garage is locked. Let's go and take a look at the fuel station as well. Now, is there a reason to unlock the garage? Maybe. I mean, we could repair and stuff. Could repair up here instead. And the lumber mill. Have the logs here. We also have the logs all the way back here. I wonder if it will be easier to grab them from all the way over here. We will see. Anyways, we need to find a way here. Uh, this water, no thank you. Might not be that deep though. You can scooch around like this. How brave do we feel? Do we feel like we could go back over here and take a look? Hmm, well, sure. It's an adventure! And I said before that we are kind of we are kind of scouting, so I to zoom out a little bit though. I'm trying to take a look here at that thing. I think it's over here. That doesn't look too bad, so we might be able to drive here. But let's take a look at the water first. Should be over here. Hmm. I 
Looks pretty deep. I would not drive my own car down there. Well, I don't have a car, but... The day when I become a big YouTube star and buy a car, I wouldn't drive it down there. Yeah, let's... There and take a look. Trying to learn how to freaking use the controller or the camera. Go, go. Plonk. Plonk. Oh, yeah. Plonk. Yeehaw. I wonder what this is. That button does. Hmm. Bit deep. I'm thinking, well, we will not bring any logs through here, I don't think. I was thinking about if we could bring um, trucks this way. Might be too difficult of a terrain. Maybe. Uh, so do you want to go down here? Over here. Looks pretty nice over here. Um, I'm just afraid that this dark green stuff is the death of us. So... Oh yeah, this is the lights. That's the light button. Okay, maybe not drive full speed across this terrain. Want to be a bumpy ride? Really? As long as we have somewhere to winch. Um, and it's a bit of a difficult terrain, but I think we can do it. Let's take the right side. Um, there we go. Come on, that small little pine tree. Bonk. Hmm. Oh boy, we're not even close. Okay. This might be... Um, Tougher than I thought. Uh, can you have me going, please? Damn it. How nice of them to put the trees 
just far enough between each other so we can fit the car through. Not going to fit the truck through here though, that's for sure. Keep a tree. Alright, you're through. I think the left hand side. Oh, we are actually at the log station. Ooh. I think we should have gone for the left side. Looks like we need to go through the green here though. Any sensible man would have exit the vehicle and take a look if there was a better way up. Oh, we are so close. Achievement, explore the bog. This actually have a road here. Use that all the way, I think. Hmm. I don't see a reason why we would use this down here though instead. Instead of this one, it's so much closer. Hmm. So the question is, if we bring these logs, freaking ocean here. Should we do some more scouting before we end this episode? Like. I want to know where to bring these logs, because we could mm. driving through here with a truck I don't think will work. Almost like I feel like we need to bring it down here. So with the mouse instead. Go like this. Have to take a look at this thing though. We go around like this. Uh maybe around so freaking far away from that thing. But that was pretty difficult terrain. If we could go this way. It might be possible to go through the water here and around. That might be possible. We might also be able to go south, maybe through this section. Over here. Pretty sure we had a watchtower here. And join this road. And either join here. We didn't try that road, but we join here. There are a couple of ways. Um, So before we end this episode, let's just take a quick, quick look at this terrain.
Does not look too bad, does it? But, uh, let's drive a little bit through here and try it out. That's decent enough. And then we will head over here. We might want to unlock the last car as well before we end this episode, but a bit damage. It will take maybe like 10 more minutes. This road is really nice. Kind of heading the wrong direction though. Keep a tree. Come on, mantle it. Or push it aside. Alright, uh, so yeah. And we have no trees to winch ourselves up. Yeah. That's uh, not going to happen. We might be able to cross over here. Really a big deal. Hmm. So it might be easy to bring those logs on this road all the way around like that. It might actually be easier than bring across the marsh. And we could always try both. Um, It also depends a lot about on the vehicle as well, so... Come on. 300 meters. And then we can unlock the last car on the map. I think it's a bit dark. We have a lot of fuel. I'm not quite sure which vehicle to bring though. And how many logs to bring at the one time. I don't think we will bring every log at the same time because that's most likely too difficult for me. Use the differential. Here we go. Pretty sure it's the vehicle we can see in the front there. Yep. Wow. 
Oh. Here we have our logging camp. Log station or pick it up yourself, I think. closer and change that thing and see what it can do. Oops, wrong button. Change track. I'm pretty sure this is plenty of logs we could bring with this thing. And carry medium logs. might be a thing that we change to that car in the next episode and we try to bring logs on the main road back to the lumber mill see if that works then we might want to try through this terrain as well Ugh. we'll see anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next time goodbye